Hello everyone, welcome to Boxing Blog Center. As usual, we give you guys nothing but bangers. If you're new to this channel right now, you know what you have to do. Uh, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Why do you have to subscribe? Because we give you guys nothing but extraordinary bangers every goddamn day. You know, and uh, yeah, we're here. So, Frank Warren. The promoter or former promoter or co-promoter, <laughs> I don't know, man. Because Bob Haram on one side say he's the guy, you know, managing, now promoting uh, Tyson Fury. We know Fury has, um, I mean, a very good, solid contract, you know, with ESPN and top rank. But on the other hand, he also has a solid contract with uh, BT Sport. So I don't know if we have Frank Warren kind of facing right now because he used to be the promoter and now everything is kind of switched. But he said, um, Tyson, Tyson Fury has shown how beatable water is, uh, saying that once the rematch is out of the way, he would love no problem matching Dubois with Wilder, saying that Dubois is the best ever with prospect on health and if we have far too much for water. He truly believed that as well. <laughs> I love in English. So, hola, Jide. Your take on this, brother? Yeah, Your hello. Oh. Mm, that's a bit. That's a bit of a sticky one, I ain't gonna lie. And there's a bit of a sticky one because... Yeah, if we're gonna be honest, I think... Has inferior shown the blueprint of how to actually beat Wilder, which is take the fight to him. And if we're gonna be realistic and be honest, the boy is exactly someone like that that will take the fight to you. And another thing again is the boy as well is an every puncher. So in a way, the thing is this here, it's gonna be. I always say one thing when it comes to boxing is always a 50-50 anyway. It's about who get caught first. Number one thing is can the boy take Deontay's punch? The three flush punches that hit Fury in the first round. Can the boy take it? That's where the question is. But at the same time, the boy is a bit much more heavier in terms of punching than um Tyson Fury to be honest then the other thing is will Deontay be able to take the boss punches because the boy comes as well with combination with just one hand so he's he's a bit of a sticky one because you know we never know that's why you know when it comes to the prospect for now the boy seems but do you say bro you said the boss in what when it comes to the prospect now yeah the boy is pretty much number one i will and i will i will pretty much say yeah the boy is pretty much number one then i can literally think of maybe maybe a jabba as number two what makes the one number one now nah, trust me the only thing that can switch that now as the boy achieve the boy. more as the boy achieve more than for jabba yeah, the boy has achieved more than our job. Like, what has he achieved then? I don't uh, know. know. The, no, the boy has gone into, when it comes to, um, the boy has gone into intercontinental challenges. Yeah. And um, now he's now more focused into proper world challenges. But that job has in, you know, done an intercontinental, you know, you know, it, it is what he is in that, which let's be realistic with that, right? So in terms of achievement, yeah, yeah, the boy. Has. Bro, right. believe me, let's let's not be like for. Let's just keep it real. If you keep yeah, it real, you know the uh, the boy hasn't achieved shit, bro. Compared to if you're Jack, but in the it, amateur, even in the amateur rankings. Okay, yeah, let's look at the amateur thing, career of both fighters. The, the, the truth is, how many goals, you know, is, or silver, you know? You see, to be, you see, to be honest, yeah, when you become an everyweight. It's not about what you've done in the amateur. Okay, oh, okay. Even even fighters. even the pros now. Who's for better fighters? In the pro. Yeah, in the pro game. In the pro. 
And the program for when it comes to the one thing I'm gonna say if I'm gonna be genuinely honest is both fighters are being built for something to come. Yeah, but we're saying yeah. who's for butter fighters. He's saying that uh uh the bois is the best everywhere prospect on health. Like that's not true, that's for sure. I will tell you I will tell you better everywhere prospects than Dubois. You know, I think Tony Yoka, uh Philip Ergovic, you know, uh I mean even Mati Bakoli. Mati Bakoli if you're Jagba, bro. See, like I'm just giving you no, those, those three guys first. No, the truth is this year. Four guys. And I, I understand we can mention all those names and you know all those things, man. Right? But like I said, in a way, yeah, in a way, and that's why when you look at the boxing rankings and that, and that Frank Warner's done. Stop Frank has done something with the boy. They've pushed him. They've pushed him. They've built him in a way where, even in terms of world ranking, with your prospects and that, the boy is ahead of all of them. The boy is ahead of all of them. Which you know, they've pushed him to that extent. Maybe Bakoli has someone to maybe it's with, with, it, with um, a promoter that will push him to that kind of stuff and that and that. But if you're gonna be say let's be genuinely honest on that, Top Rank has actually pushed the boy to an extent. They've built him, they've pushed him, and that's why they're looking into putting him the boy into now what type challenge and stuff like that and that and that. But I'm not gonna lie to you, all those names you've mentioned, they can't put them into what type challenges yet. Since last year, now Dubai, they've been talking of Dubai fighting either AJ Dillian and that and that. But with others, mm -mm, they haven't pushed them to that state yet. Let's be realistic. Right? And that's why, for me, I'll probably say the weight is based on my opinion. I'll say, okay, maybe a Jabba, maybe number two and that and that. Maybe the way, you know, um, the um, PBC are kind of like, you know, pushing him as well and that and that and stuff like that, right? But if they've pushed him, if he's got a better promoter, Probably maybe a job on my happen, you know, out of the bar, but no, it wasn't the case. Let's be realistic with it. So that's why I can understand why he's saying what he's saying. Because since last year, I'm not gonna lie, they've been looking for ways to throw the bar in with Dillian or AJ or wherever, wherever, wherever it is. Which look at like, yeah, with the way they pushed him, it's kind of ready now. I mean, AJ didn't do much in this thing, and look at AJ now and that, and that you know what I'm saying. So it's the same thing. That's why I look at it like, yeah, you might have been a good achiever. Just like Andrew Ruiz. Andrew Ruiz was a very good achiever in the amateurs and that and that and that. But in terms of the heavyweight now, he's not. So, you know, it's not based on, you know, what you've done in the amateur or that, that. Once you become an heavyweight, it's not like, okay, how far have you been, you know? And that's why a lot of people look at AJ now, okay, AJ was built, AJ was paid for this, AJ was paid for that, AJ was built for this because why? AJ pushed himself, he got pushed and he pushed himself and that and that and that. And this is AJ's so now. Which is one thing no other fight I did in terms of under 23 fight. He already a two times, you know, unified champion, which is is the first in history to do that. Other people go into their world title whenever we're in about 25, 28 fights and that and that. But AJ's one was round about a 16 fight. So he's where he is, and that's the same way they're trying to push and push and push the bar. And stuff like that. So I can understand what he's trying to say, but in terms of matching Dubois with um, Deontay, Deontay has got to be more experienced. Let's not deceive ourselves. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a thing of a 50 50. I'm not gonna lie to you. Saying, you know, yeah, Fury has shown the proper blueprint, and that's the same way Dubois goes on to fight anyway. But the thing there is, it's gonna be down to whoever lands first because they are both heavy punchers. What can they take is what we both don't know yet. And that's where I leave it. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it as usual. So, I mean, for me, I would just say, um, but before I come in, let me, of course, let my brother Ty come in. Ty Jagway. Yeah, let me make a really quick. Uh, uh, the bois has that come forward uh, def um, technique, but at the same time, he lacks the defense. And the way that uh, the, the Queensberry promotion, whatever uh, this guy, his promoter is just trying to push him along, 
It seems like he's trying to push him along way too quick. You're not going to get it, AJ. I'll tell you that right now. There's there's only one person, and that is AJ, that can do that can do what he does. You're never going to try to, no matter what, you cannot mimic what the other guys did. You can't do it. And, I, and with that being said, what will Dubois, when you, when you take someone as young as Dubois and you put him against a, a hard hitter, like a, a, a supposed hard hitter, like Deontay Wilder, if Dubois gets hit, and I'll repeat this again, if Dubois gets hit, there's a likely chance Dubois might not get up and he will not be the same after that. I'll tell you that right now. That happens a lot, especially at somebody of his of his of his, of his age. He has not yet to really fully understand what it means to get up and not be afraid. I'm telling you, if Dubois gets hit by somebody of Deontay Wilder's caliber, if Deontay Wilder is supposed to be that hard hitter, but I'm still doubting that. If Dubois gets hit, he's not gonna get up, and he won't be the same. And that's gonna be um, this. Um, uh, what you call his biggest uh, biggest mistake because the boy is going to go in there he won't ever be the same when he fights and that's where I'm going to leave it what I will say is that listen in as much as we know Deontay Water is not the most skillful fighter but one thing is certain if you put a guy that stands still or a guy that trades without a, having a defense you know without defending his, himself believe me Deontay Water will decapitate that guy's head off. Like, it's just how it is. Deontay Water's leather, hammer, right hand is dangerous for anyone. But before we even start bigging up Dubois, Dubois hasn't even achieved, he's, he's, he's achieved nothing, bro, in my opinion. He's been hyped up because he's, uh, you know, he's from Britain. Uh, also, and also because of the rumors that, uh, rumors of. Uh, of him knocking Joshua on his pario, you know, which is, of course, totally bollocks, you know, which is total bollocks, uh, you know, the rumors that float around saying, oh, <clears throat> Joshua <clears throat> got knocked out by Dubois and all this kind of stuff. Dubois also kind of endorsed it, though, in a way, indirectly endorsed it, endorsed that, 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 that rumor, you know, um, and that got his name out a little bit you know he's a very very young kid you know very very young kid and he's still yet to get past joe joyce and for me you all know i think joe joyce beats the boy the boy's a very dangerous father okay very dangerous father but he's chinny why i say he's chinny is because if you look at the richelotte fight you saw how richelotte caught the boy he caught him and if joe joyce catches the boy like that and he will, of course, hit back. Jojo is a guy that he will allow you to come hit, hit him. He will hit you back, you know. And when he is back, I mean, can you be able to take? Will you be able to take it? Dubois can hit for sure. He can hit very hard. He's a he's a deadly hitter. But anybody can hit hard. But it depends on how much he can take. And I don't think Dubois has that chin. And against Water, that is going to be one hell of like a brutal fight because water is going to just calculate the ball calculate him he knows he has no head movement he knows he's not a he's not a slick uh he's not a slick uh, a boxer you know he knows that he only comes with you know depending on his like on his on his power and all that and water we know he's got that hammer in his right hand and even the even the like the statement the response from people here like i mean makes it even uh i mean visible even to the blind to to know and see or to understand that listen dubois has no chance against deontay water right now so it's just the fact and uh, yeah but we'll see what happens though um deontay water might be <clears throat> a fighter with flaws but at the same time he's a weapon to reckon with like he's dev he's deadly and the war against joe joyce is still yet to happen and that fight will show you the re 
you know, uh, who's the who the real deal is. I believe the dress is one of the real deals out there. <laughs> He's achieved a lot in a spot and doesn't really get credit. By the way, you guys go check that, check out my interview with uh, Joe the Juggernaut Joyce right here. <clears throat> the rise of the Juggernaut. Go check it out, guys. Uh, stay blessed, stay hungry, stay on board, and as usual, we give you guys nothing but bangers. Follow us on Instagram at Boxing Block Center, on Twitter at Boxing Block, and as well on Facebook at Boxing Block Center. Cheers, guys. <laughs>